Friends, this is springtime in Delhi and I am at the India Art Fair with creativity blooming on all sides. I am Bandeep Singh, group photo editor of India Today and I am here to show you the pick of the Indian Art Fair. I am with artist Ani Kumari from Jamshedpur whose work Alingan is one of the most strong works of this art fair and it features two large spherical orbs intersecting, almost overlapping each other as if in an embrace. The word Alingan means embrace and here we see a very deft use of technique whereby she has created a sense of duality of creating two spheres using the same color scheme and the same dot and um, uh, dot technique. The dots are placed differently in a different arrangement and in that subtlety she creates a uh, uh, image of two uh, spheres which to me represents the duality, the concept of duality or dwet in Indian thought. So the work is based on uh, mathematical coding. It's a very ancient uh, kind of mathematical coding that's involved based on the Fibonacci series and also the prime number sequences. That's from where the pattern has arrived. But of course it has a wide thematic concern and the form comes out of my studies of the Panchang, the Hindu calendar and it's based on natural occurrences like the occurrences of eclipse and other kind of celestial phenomena. Baroda based artist Girjesh Kumar is a regular at the art fair. You know, he creates these amazing sculptures uh, made out of rubble blocks of demolished buildings and he finds faces in those blocks like the proverbial artist who found the sculpture within a block of stone and uh, this time from uh, smaller portraits uh, Girjesh has come to do a full length uh, realistic work of a of a homeless person lying down in front of ordinately carved uh, buildings is uh, emblematic of uh, the proverbial uh, migrant who we saw during the Covid times leaving their homes leaving their plush homes, plush surroundings where they were working and you know carry on with their life, with their baggages. This also Girjesh uh, sees this work as emblematic of the baggages that we carry and we hold it close to our beings. Anish Kapoor's glazed metal orbs don't ever cease to fascinate in the ways they invert, distort and magnify your own mirror images. The work invites a lot of engagement and is very popular with a lot of viewers. Artist Shilpa Gupta's globe created out of aeroplane seat belts, you know, talks to me about interconnectedness and a world that is constantly moving from one space to another, from one time zone to another. It's a globe created out of human movement. When you enlarge something, you are forced to engage with the form in a different way, in an independent way, seeing it for what it is rather than for what it signifies. Here, you know, in this, uh, the female pelvic bone, I'm seeing a masculine shape, you know, almost like, a, you know, a, a, a monster shape rising from uh, the void and with its wings and you can see two horns on it and if you go in the back you can also see you know a scaled uh, vertebra almost like a primordial figure an atavistic form if you see if you see carefully you can almost see the horns and and the scaled uh, back like a dinosaur an oversized replica of the female pelvic bone is artist Prashant Pandey's take on feminism. Prashant, tell us something about this work. Yeah, this is a uh, female pelvic bone and uh, I made it in a huge size because of the it's a birth of origin and I wanted to uh, make a wish and it's, I titled it, titled it Kama so anybody can come and make a wish and it's all waste of, of discarded material of marble brass stones made out of deities like Rama, Sita and Hanumana. Wow. Sudarshan Shetty's hyper-realistic replica of the news video camera done in wood with a fiberglass 
pour of blood flowing out from it is a comment on today's news scenario the death and the violence that is captured in the camera and then it is regurgitated in front of our eyes on our screens prateek arora is taking pictures of well subjects that don't exist you know uh, this is for the first time we are seeing ai based photographs in this art fair and uh, prateek uh, tell us about what this work is and what uh, you are trying to do so first i'd like to clarify these aren't photographs they're ai generated images that appear like photographs that mimic photographs that mimic photographs that kind of take that visual language by design because the subjects of them are some things that can't be in photographs they're clearly um and it's all starting from like an exploration of um science fiction in the indian context and fantasy and horror in the indian context what i wanted to do uh, was because we haven't had much uh, you know popular entertainment or cinema in these genres in india I, this new technology i thought was an opportunity to like create some of that or at least put some of that at, at my own level and and see how people react and uh, what i think what was interesting was that like the subjects and the places and all of that is clearly not real like you know you can't have robots on the street but when they're in the look of a photograph it makes people almost believe like they're real and and it kind of also reminds people of like watching a film right so i think it's coming from there we we can title this film gali mein sci-fi <laughs> i'd love that gali mein sci-fi is great gali mein sci-fi the assassination of mahatma gandhi is one of the most violent memories of post independence history of india but we are distanced from that memory by time and the ideological debates that surround the act of the assassination kerala based artist tom watakuri creates a graphic depiction of the sheer horror the anguish the grief the shock and the sheer violence of the act of the assassination and forces us to look at it beyond all thought beyond all beyond all arguments beyond all debates to look at the sheer pain and the horror of the act i'm uh, joined by tom over here who is with us to talk about this work tom tell us what led you to do this work which is uh, very graphic in its detail i feel that the same situation that led to the uh, death of gandhi still exists so i thought uh, it is time for me to portray how gandhi died in in uh, great detail thank you it's a very powerful work one of the most beautiful takeaways of the art fair is the revival of uh, folk art and folk art painting in contemporary expressions one of the most beautiful expressions of that is this painting of vishwaroop behind me it is a collaboration between three artists uh, artist bhajju sham working with gond art uh, manjunath kamath doing contemporary art and santosh kamath uh, santosh kumar das doing mithila painting and all three of them have collaborated to create this vision of the universe as depicted in indian thought the vishwaroop the universe as a manifestation of lord vishnu we end the walk through of this editions of the art fair with an amazing minimalistic depiction of the kali by artist parish maiti where just the emblem of the red tongue coming out of a black void depicts the goddess and we leave you with the thought that you stay blessed and stay creative <laughs>